Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Flint Hills by JS Mapping. And we're picking up right where we left off last time, which was filling up this truck. And I wanted to uh, actually fire this back up on camera just to make sure this is all going to be working automatically. And uh, not lose any of the frustration if it does exist. Hopefully though. This is all going to work without a hitch here, so it looks like our truck is off to the bins, and so I expect he's going to do just fine here. I have no idea why he's flashing his lights like that, but that's okay. And uh, because we have saved and exited the game between uh, episodes here, I will need to go and get all of our combines started back up again here, and I'm going to go ahead and just unload the lead combine, which is full, uh, with the 2596 here and then I think we're going to go ahead and set up the course play course for our grain cart drivers and hope pray uh, whatever you want to do that those guys are going to work out for us here and so I'm super hopeful that this is going to work without any problems because we are running a single hopper truck now and so I can't imagine why that wouldn't work. And we have the added bonus of having additional headlands here. So I really expect this is going to work amazingly. Uh, but I've been wrong before. And so there's really only one way to uh, test this out. And that's to do it. So let's jump into it here. While he's unloading, we'll go ahead and get this guy started up. And to verify we're still on one left, which is appropriate for a lead combine. He's got vehicle convoy mode activated, and we've still got our course loaded, so uh, all we should have to do is hit drive course on the nearest waypoint here as soon as he's empty. And there we go, that's one combine off to the races. Let's go ahead and grab this other combine. And this is our second combine on the way. Uh, one thing to point out here on the bottom is you can see that we're at 4 hours and 11 minutes to finish this field. So even with two X9s running at uh, full speed, that's 4 hours and 11 minutes of actual movement. We're kind of tied up right now as the other X9 handles his corner up here. So uh, it's actually going to take a fair amount longer than that. And so this is what I always like to point out when people mention... Uh, why are you using course play so much to get stuff done? I can't drive two combines at the same time, let alone uh, the grain carts and semis necessary to keep them going. And so it's uh, easier to get a little bit of help trying to keep all this moving. Now, this X9 is already at 80%, and so we got to get over here as quick as we can and get unloading before he gets hung up here. We're probably going to get cut out by this corner here unfortunately uh, I just wanted to get enough to keep him moving but he's gonna have to stop it looks like so that's okay we'll unload a little bit here enough to get him uh, empty enough to make the corner I think we're gonna get out of his way and we'll unload him on the go looks like we've got some kind of a reversing corner turn here now for combines on hard corners I forget what turn mode I picked for the uh, course here, so I'm a little bit surprised that this is uh, how they're deciding to do things. I do want to go in here and check this guy's advanced settings. It is, looks like they're cutting out these corners differently than they used to, though, so I don't know. I guess that's cool. No complaints. I am going to use the AI turn maneuvers on uh, this guy, and then I just want to check that we've got that on the other one. Uh, shouldn't matter for the headland passes here, but as we get over onto the uh, other section, oh, I didn't mean AI turn maneuvers, I meant pathfinding in turns. We picked the wrong one on that other combine. The pathfinding in turns is uh, going to be super useful because that is what's going to hopefully keep our guys out of the fence here later on. So I just wanted to check that I had that set up right for both combines and then we're already at 80 percent so i better get moving 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 here to keep the combine unloaded and then as soon as uh we get this 
grain cart full one more time. We're going to go set up those course play courses for the other two tractors, I think. Actually, scratch that. We're going to go ahead and jump up there and do it now. Just because I want to make sure we can actually keep up with our combines here. All right, so for our course play course, I'm actually going to start the overloader course down here a little ways. I always like to start on the actual field, but I want to start from down here because after the first few passes, we're going to be coming from this end of the field more often than not. And so this is a good place to start, and it lets us come in opposite the direction the semi is going. And so we're not going to crash into our semi, hopefully, when these two vehicles need to leave at approximately the same time. I'm going to put a weight point in here, which is probably way too far forward. Uh, but we can always move it back here a little bit in just a second. And then we're going to just pull right back out here onto the field and hit stop. And so I know already I don't like where that waypoint is, so I'm just going to back up a little bit here. We're going to turn on our editing mode, and we're going to fix it right now. Because we have this huge single hopper semi-trailer, and so I know we've got room to maneuver this a little bit. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to save this as field 21 uh, overloader with auto drive and what we want to do is come in here and we're going to pick the first x9 in the list as the x9 for this particular combine and we're going to go ahead and tell him to drive and the settings that we want to adjust here is uh we want him to come drive back to the semi if he is at 95 percent or higher we want him to start driving if his combine is at 20%. And then if we have less than, uh, how much, 5%, he can come back out and find his combine again. Um, I'm actually going to bring this down to 1%. I want him to stay there and empty all the way, because I think our trucks are going to be able to keep up with the... Uh, bins being so close here. So I think this is going to be our best setup for this particular dry grain cart driver. And so we're going to let him go. It looks like he's finding his way out there to somebody. And we're going to go ahead and grab our other guy here and do the exact same thing. And so the joy with this one is that all we have to do is grab this overloader for field 21. We're going to pick the second combine in the list, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to up this to 95. We're going to have him start driving on at 20%, and we're going to turn this down to 1% and say that he needs to do the same thing. And then let's get him on out here in the field, and hopefully... I've picked a different combine than his uh, compatriot. It's kind of hard to tell if those uh, combines are always in the same order or not. But I think this is going to work. And all I got to do is bring him right on over here and say drive course. And he should get to the stop point here and spend just a moment to try and find his combine to unload. And it looks like he can't find a path around the field for whatever reason. And so he's going to go ahead and cut his way through the field. This is one of the unfortunate side effects of uh, course play here. And so there is fruit at the target disabling fruit avoidance. I'm not sure what that means, but we're going to find out. Um, did I pick the wrong combine? Because it looks like I'm going to this one. And I wanted to go to the other one. So we're going to just wait and see. Um, this is one of those, like, getting it set up for the first time is always the hardest part. Um, it very much looks like he's trying to chase after this one, but maybe he just knows that this other guy's going to be here at about the right time. I don't know. Let's see what he does. So I think that he thought he would be able to come in behind him maybe here. I'm not sure. I'm going to stop driver. And... 
and we're gonna start course at nearest. I don't know how this is gonna work, to be honest. I'd really like him to kind of just figure this out right now. I really hope this isn't gonna send him all the way back to the start, which I think it is. Uh, unfortunate. All right, well, while he figures that out, let's go check on the lead grain cart and see that he actually got some corn in him which he did and so he's now sitting here waiting and it looks like he's about to move up again and i want to just go see this guy should be at 20 percent and so this is working out pretty well i set it to 20 percent because if i set it too high the combine gets farther away from him uh before he starts unloading which means that we have to path farther also when they're on the other end of the field here, I want to make sure that they're going to come and find the combine. But looking at this, maybe 20% is a little bit low. And so I think we're going to actually bump this up to maybe 40% and see how we do. Um, that way we spend a little bit more time in between and the combine doesn't have to slow down quite as much. So it looks like the other green card is uh, making his way out here slowly. Um, in fact, maybe I should go check and see what his uh, speed has been set to because uh, I would have expected him to be back out here already. It looks like he's making it. He's just having to follow the edge of the curvy field here. So as he gets on the straightaways here, it looks like he's going to go a little bit faster. And so I am encouraged that it looks like he managed to figure out the pathfinding to get around the field this time rather than driving through the corn. Um, I've got to wonder if clearing these corners out would help a little bit with pathfinding, but not much we can do about that. And I expect he's going to get up here and be able to unload just fine. So I'm going to jump out and move this other tractor out of the way. Uh, we're going to actually take it and go and try and catch up with... Uh... Oh, he almost clipped me. Uh, catch up with the lead combine, because I expect the... Other grain cart is actually going to be getting empty here rather quickly, or rather, I'm sorry, the other grain cart's going to be getting full rather quickly here, and I would expect that we're going to need to uh, fill in for him while he heads back up to the farm to unload. And so that pair looks like it's going pretty good. Grain looks to be nice and in the center of the cart, so I'm not too worried about uh, the unloading. They're not crashing into each other. So I really think this is going to start working out. Uh, now that we've got everybody kind of moving and grooving, I'm kind of mentally taking bets with myself as to uh, how long we can last before we have our first major course play incident. It's uh, kind of cool to see the uh, other combine and grain cart over there working along the trees. I kind of wish that auger wasn't sticking out, but I guess we do have a full headland already out. So I imagine they're not crashing into anything. It's kind of hard to tell from this distance, uh, but you can see them over there with their lights on. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not a big fan of recording in the dark. I think that farm sim is hard enough to see during the daytime and it's going to get a little bit too hard to see here. Uh, shortly with the way the sun's going down. Uh, but I want to get the rest of this headland off at least before we um, fast forward time. I'm honestly really worried about the fact that uh, tomorrow is the last day of autumn and we might get some frost or something here soon. So uh, we're definitely going to be going back down to 1x time. I think we are on 1x time right now actually. Um, when we get to uh, tomorrow, because I think that's going to be the last day we're going to be able to do anything with our soybeans. So, um, yeah, we're we're keeping an eye on things. I really want to stay out of that guy's way because he's uh, pathfinding out to his combine already. So I'm going to come over and hug this fence, I think. And I'm just going to hop out and wait and see. I actually kind of thought he'd be full by now. Oh, of course I'm in his way. Listen, bud. I pulled over so you could go around. You guys never come to the outside. You always hug the crops, and now all of a sudden you're on my case. I don't understand. Part of me wonders if I could uh, get up alongside him and unload him so he could stay out in the field. That might be an interesting, uh, interesting way to break things, I suppose, but 
If I uh, unload this grain cart as he's going around things, uh, this is a bad idea. We're going to wait till we get around this curve. If we can get around this curve, I think I'm going to try and unload him to keep him out in the field, and then we can head back to the semi with our grain cart. Oh no, I'm missing up. I'm messing up. There we go. All right, we got to screenshot this. Here we go. Ultimate efficiency. Keep that uh, course play grain cart driver going. I wonder why he stopped. Oh, the combine was empty. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and actually top off here. Don't see any reason not to. It seems to be working unless we've broken this driver, but I guess we'll find out. I don't think we have. And uh, we're going to take this full load right back up to the farm here. We're at 90%, almost there. I'm kind of curious. I don't see the other combine anywhere yet. Did we lose our other combine, or did it just get hung up that long waiting for a grain cart? It looks like they're still moving, actually. So uh, quite a ways behind, but not lost. So I'm going to go ahead and whip around here. And we're going to head back up to the farm with this very, very full load. Wow, this is pulling hard. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully we can get up to speed here and get back up to the farm with this load. And it looks like just in time we got out of the way for him to go unload that combine again. So we haven't tested yet whether or not these guys can get back up to the farmyard and unload on their own yet. Uh, well, I'm really hoping they can but at least I know I can come out here and keep them going a little bit longer just by unloading them on the go, which is kind of funny. Having this uh, big grain cart is actually coming in more handy than I thought it would right now. Uh, I'm coming back around this way mostly because I want to see how full this other grain cart is. It looks like he's coming out here right now to unload, and so I'll be able to get a glimpse into the back of that grain cart. Now... I think I forgot to adjust his down a little bit because I think he's still at 20%. I think we want to put him up at 30 or 40 like the other grain cart driver. So I'm going to jump in here real quick. And yeah, he's still at 20. So we're going to bump him up to at least 30, I think. Seems to be working pretty well for the other grain cart. Get a few less uh, pathing delays, but while keeping them still close enough that... Uh, we don't fail at pathing because um, that's always the worst is when the course play has to try multiple times and ends up just driving through the crops. So right now we're finding that balance and uh, every time course play tries to figure out what the next course is, my frame rates drop down into the teens momentarily. So I'm having wild frame rate fluctuations from uh, somewhere in the 40s or 50s down to uh, about 15 to 10 when uh, course plays finding a course. So we might have to tweak some settings here at some point to balance out for all the craziness with course play. Um, I've also uh, recently been introduced to some new graphics settings by a uh, member of the community that we're testing out here. And so a uh, special shout out to Nathan Williams for pointing out that I can increase how far the uh, crop draw distances are from inside the XML file. And so rather than relying on the in-game settings, which only let you go up to 200%, I've gone into my uh, XML files and increased my uh, crop draw distance to 400%. So you can see the uh, circle in which I'm drawing my uh, corn here you know there's the smaller circle right next to me here that you can see is kind of a lighter corn and then the normal circle that's pretty close normally is pretty far out there in this giant field and so from a graphics perspective um, the distance at which you stop drawing good looking textures has been increased which is kind of cool I, I wish this inner circle didn't exist I wish that uh um, it was the same as the outer circle here, or the next circle out, but uh, it's a huge improvement for where th from where things were. So uh, a huge shout out and thank you again to Nathan Williams for pointing that out to me uh, on uh, my previous Flint Hills video. 
we're going to do some more testing with this, and if it uh, ends up working out as well as it seems to, I'm definitely going to put together a video on some uh, graphics tweaks and stuff. I had something in the works already, but uh, this is definitely one of those things that pushes me over the top for uh, wanting to show some things off. All right, so I'm coming up here along this semi. I'm actually going to whip around and uh, point back down the other way like our overloaders would just so that he's not going to run into me here when he gets full and takes off. Um, although, I'm trying to remember now, one of these doesn't actually fill him up, so I guess I don't have to be too worried about it. Oh, we just ran into him with our pipe, though. Yes, we uh, have that a little lower than it should be. Let's uh, raise that up, and then let's extend the spout outwards to something like... That should work a whole lot better, and hopefully this worker is going to be able to figure it out after we've kind of plowed into him there. Alright, it looks like we're all emptied out here, and uh, we've got one cart coming back it looks like from the very far corner. If I bring up the map here, a little hard to see on that map. So here you can see our overloader is working its way up the headland, uh, back up towards the truck. So I'm assuming he's full, because uh, his combine is asking to be unloaded. So uh, while he's working his way back up here to unload, I could have been driving down there and keeping ahead of this. Um, but we uh, got a little distracted, so we're going to run down there now and get that combine moving again. It looks like they're getting into traffic here, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, because that other guy is going to sit there and wait until his combine's ready to be unloaded. I'm hoping this is something that improves as they uh, get off the headlands here. Uh, I think this is just an artifact of having two overloaders right on the same headland. But uh, we're going to let them try and figure that out, because until they can't figure it out, course play hasn't failed just yet, in my opinion. I think that that... Uh, grain cart in the front still has a chance to start going to unload his combine and free up the guy coming down the headland to unload. Uh, it is unfortunate though because he could have probably been at the semi by now unloading if he hadn't gotten hung up on the other driver there. Now the only thing I wish is that this tractor was a little bit faster. Those 8RXs are running around at 32 miles an hour and I'm uh, I'm plodding along here at 24. Uh, maybe realistic, but uh, I'd like to be going just a bit faster. And so what I think I'm going to do is come out here and unload this uh, combine here. And then we'll probably jump out and grab that semi-truck and go unload it that we've got in the corner here. We've got a semi sitting right here on the corner of this field that's uh, completely full of corn right now. So just looking at the map here. It looks like our two grain carts never figured out how to decouple themselves from each other. And so as soon as I get around this curve, I think we're going to go and tab over to one of those and see if I can get that sorted out. So let's go help course play out here. We almost had it. I had confidence and it's uh, letting me down here. So unfortunate. So we're going to stop this driver, we're going to get him out of the way. And then he's going to, the other guy was fine, he just had another driver smashed into him so he couldn't go anywhere. So at this point, yeah, I can just start this guy off. He's full, he's going to find a way back and go empty himself. Um, this other guy now has to course through the grain, which is a little bit unfortunate because I don't think he's going to course through this grain the appropriate way. I think he's going to try and get in front of that combine and it's going to be a mess. So, course play not quite there yet. Let's, uh, let's get in here and see if I can assist this situation any. If I could find the tractor and all this corn. Uh, maybe he's going to make it. He is at 92%. It's funny is because the other guy's driving right. This guy's actually going to cut him off, and they're probably going to crash into each other again. Oh, that'll be hilarious. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You can do it. 
Yes. Yes. No crashing. I like it. Everybody's friends. Look at this. Good things can happen. And this will be our first grain cart going through on the overloader course. And so I'm wanting to make sure he's actually going to dump into the semi. Because it looked like for a second there he was going to do the thing where he stops right before the semi trailer. And I was going to lose my mind. But it looks like I get to retain my sanity for one more day. One more day. And so this is uh, going along swimmingly. That semi's full. And so this is a scenario I don't actually expect to happen very often, but I'm going to let it play out. I want to see what happens when both of these uh, grain carts come in onto each other like this. Because I think they should stop, but what definitely could happen is this uh, grain cart that we're following right now could just plow into his compatriot here and mess everything up. Um, if I had the second semi up here already, he'd have been waiting and pulled in. And we'd have already unloaded this front uh, grain cart. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. So they're not detecting each other on this course for sure. Um, we're going to hope that he doesn't do anything dumb over the couple of minutes it's going to take him to uh, get un the semi unloaded. Uh, they are going to try and push and pull each other. That's going to be easy enough to fix here in a second if it does cause problems. Man, is it getting dark here. Uh, we're going to bring this semi back up to the yard and get him going on the auto drive course to unload real quick. And by the time I'm up there, we're going to see what kind of chaos those two uh, fighting tractors have run into. Oh, goodness. The recording has been off, and I don't know how long it's been on not recording. So we've been moving time along here to get back to daylight. And as we did that, uh, the game definitely caught up on our corn drying. And so if we bring up the global company menu here real quick, you can see we have now filled up our dry corn capacity and we've got 700,000 out of a million liters of wet corn in the bins. And so that leaves us with 300,000 liters that can go into our wet bins still. And that's not going to be nearly enough. That's about three semi truck fulls. A little bit less, actually, because I think our new semis are holding 110,000 liters apiece. And so uh, that's going to be a problem because I think both of these grain carts are probably getting close to full. I know our lead combine is over there somewhere actually starting in on real rows finally. And uh, this guy, because he got behind a little bit, we are uh, still taking off the last of the headland rows. So... Uh, that's a little scary just in that we've filled up all of our capacity and we haven't even finished opening this field yet. But I guess scary in a good way. And so I'm going to do this little trick again. Oh, his auger's not out, so I can't actually do the trick. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm going to then just take this up to the semis and unload them here. Uh, unloading seems to be working pretty well. Uh, we've had our grain carts pull up there and unload successfully now. And the semi came back into the course while there was a grain cart still waiting to unload all by itself. So at this point, outside of that one little issue we had, I think that uh, farm sim and course play are more or less behaving. Uh, I am having a little bit of a drain on my frames right now. Uh, and that's a combination of course play running so many vehicles and uh, honestly this big shed right in front of us here um not well the the hog barn has some issues that are causing frame rate drops and then that big shed right to the right of it has some fairly significant issues uh with frame rate so i'm gonna be working on that i honestly i think there's an update to one of these sheds that's better for frames i just don't know if i'm gonna have to replace it and so i've avoided doing that up until now but we may work on that for next episode just because Every time I look at the farm, 
when we drop down right now we're dropping down to about 20 frames a second and if i look this way my frames bounce back up by anywhere from 10 to 30 frames per second so uh, even with all this course play and all these vehicles everywhere um, just looking at our farm right now causes problems so uh, i gotta figure that out however with this uh combine going here uh, he's doing a good job on the headlands. We're almost done here. It's literally his last pass. And it looks like this guy cut through on his first pass. So I'm waiting to see him turn around here. Um, there he goes. What is he doing? Oh, wow, he's already done several rows cutting through like this. That's uh, interesting. So that's how far behind our other combine is. Uh, we should probably let that combine catch up at some point here. But uh, for now, I guess we'll just let him keep going. Um, mm -hmm. This doesn't look to be lands mode to me. What is he doing? I'm kind of curious now. Let's jump into him here real quick and figure out what this course is. Stop driver. Course generation. This is field center up and down. Why is it on up and down when obviously it's lands mode here? So somehow his course got a little out of whack. I've regenerated it, um, but I honestly, I don't even know where he should be now so uh we might just kind of start him off wherever let's turn some lines on here one left i'm gonna start him off here and uh he'll figure it out and catch up on the right part of lands here in a little while i guess um i'm gonna save this as field 21 uh, new combine course. That's a really weird issue. All right, so he's gonna do that. I'm gonna let this guy clean up these areas that he's done. Oh, please don't be dumb. Please don't be dumb. We're being dumb. Maybe. Maybe not. The combine's like really trying to jam him in there. And so while he was dumb, he didn't get stuck. So I'm going to give him that. And it looks like he's going to wait here for a second and then go unload while we're in the corn, which is just awkward, but whatever. Why is this combine going at an angle, it looks like? Is that just me? No, he's definitely cutting in through an angle. Hang on, we need to look at this course one more time. My goodness. We'll let him unload here, but I'm not liking this angled cut through the corn. It just looks bizarre. In fact, we're going to stop. I got to look at this course. No, no, stop. Yeah, okay. I want north-south, manual, north, 360, zero, generate. Thank you. All right, multiple tools, two, skip rows, none. Let's do this. Uh, let's delete some of these other ones. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need that one. I don't need that one. Drive course. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, now he's gotta be over here for some reason. Oh my goodness, we've made a mess of this. We're going to have to come back and clean all this up on our own down here at some point. But, in the meantime, it looks like this might actually be the right way to do things. So, we're going to let him go. And then I'm going to jump over here to his buddy. And once we get to the end row... Oh, why, why is he doing this now? What is going on? Stop, stop. Where's the... Harvester, no straw. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Everybody's a joker today. We're going to turn our lines on. We're going to come in here. 
We're gonna empty, we're gonna stop this course and get him going on the same one as the uh, the other guy here. Looks like that grain cart might be full, which would be a good thing. And I'm just gonna get to the end, get to the end, and stop driver, close this off, give me this course here, F21, 2X, X9, copy. Thank you. Alright, we are the one right combine now. So we're going to come over here and put ourselves on this uh, long row in the middle. And we're going to just go, go, go and not pay attention to the fact that this long row is no longer lined up with us. It's crooked. Everything is wrong. I have no idea why we got off on the course like that. Uh, just need to pay a little bit more attention to course play, I guess, in the future. But with that, uh... I guess maybe we'll manually do this first and then start him off because there is just this one strip here so we might as well take care of this strip and so while we do that let's go ahead and get rid of the lines and uh, we'll do one pass manual combining here and that guy's going to town to try and unload the other guy I'm a little bit upset that he's driving through all the corn again why are the combines no longer cutting in is what I want to know. It's like all of a sudden the combines forgot about all the fun course play rules. Alright, so it looks like we've sort of sorted this out. Uh, there's probably a little bit here we're going to have to come back and clean up at some point. But course play is running. Uh, I think we've got all the straw turned off from these different uh, guys. And we've got... Uh, an empty grain cart here. We've got a mostly full one over there that'll be full when that combine gets back. And if we just rush over here real quick, I think we're gonna see that uh, this guy is just now getting done and coming back out. And so we've got a mostly full semi here. So we're getting filled up here. We've got a whole lot of corn to go, but we are now officially into the real harvesting and so i think this is probably going to be a good place to wrap up this episode and we'll see about getting some extra storage put in here and figuring out what we're going to do with all this corn next episode i am super super excited that course play is working we're going to adjust our frame rate issues a little bit for next episode hopefully it'll be less choppy then I think uh, that's all I got for today. Kedrick, out.